the fast pitch chat show listen up if you want to know tips from expert guests and pros a whole lot of info on everything softball the fast pitch chat show sponsored by softballjunk.com hi i'm dr sherry warner from the sherry warner fast pitch academy in cannondale texas a commonly asked question each week of me is what are good exercises to do in a weight room or not in a weight room, just exercises in general that are good for a windmill pitcher to train with? The answer to that is legs and core. We don't need a whole lot of upper body strength. We do need a base of support, but we don't need a whole lot of upper body uh, strength for windmill pitching. Anything that we do with the upper body should be with bands as resistance or on a plyo ball where um, we're providing body weight resistance for our upper extremity. But legs and core, you cannot hit enough. The weakest part of a female athlete's body is the core. And regardless, if you're pitching, hitting, throwing, and softball, the force that you're creating at the ground, which is the only contact you have with an external body, so the force has to start at the ground, has to somehow get up through the ankles, the knees, the hips, the core, and if that's your weak link, you're doomed. You're never gonna perform at the highest level possible. So legs and core, legs and core, legs and core. Keep it low resistance. Most athletes, until they reach uh, 15, 16 years old, um, these girls aren't ready to handle anything but body weight. So we don't really need to be in a weight room. Another, the opposite end of that question would be, what are bad exercises for a windmill pitcher? And I'm gonna tell you, for all throwing athletes, regardless of the sport, regardless of the position, bad exercises are those that push resistance or weights away from the body. So push-ups, bench press, incline press, um, anything where you're military press, anything where you're pushing weight away from your body um, should not be done for a throwing athlete. Unfortunately, you go in any high school weight room, particularly in the southern states, and that's exactly what they're doing, bench press, they're maxing out. Um, pitching, hitting, and throwing in softball is all pushing things away from your body. So we need to be working the back side of the body from head to toe. I hope this helps. Looking for a softball bat? Do you want to save $30? Softballjunk.com is offering an additional $30 discount on all regular price bats on the website. That's right, $30 discount. Just text the word FASTPITCH to 555-888 and Gary will send you a discount code good for $30 off your next softball bat at softballjunk.com. FYI, that code's also good at the Arlington, Texas store. This show is a member of the Fast Pitch TV Network. See all of our shows and blogs at www.fastpitch.tv.